Hello, everyone. Hi, welcome to Travel Week webinars once again. Um, at Travel Week, we pride ourselves in delivering the news and all the information that agents need, especially in these trying times, which darn, we thought we we're starting to get better. And now there's all this new variant um, all over the news. So again, our industry is uh, in a little bit of uncertainty. But that um, doesn't stop the fact that many Canadians will indeed be going south this winter and many of them will be going to Las Cabos. So today we have a very exciting webinar. Um, our friends from Mexico are here to join us. Um, before I pass it over, I just want to take care of a little bit of housekeeping. So first off, if you have any technical challenges, you're going to write in the chat box and my production team is going to come help you. And if you have any questions for our presenter today, you're going to go in the Q&A box and then at the end, I'm going to address them all for you. So I would like to warmly welcome our guest today, Juana Ortiz, and she's the Tour and Travel Manager at Los Cabos. Hello. Hi. Thanks for being here. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm very happy to be here today and, and thank you. I hope that today we're going to learn a little bit more about Los Cabos. Yeah, I think Los Cabos is a top destination for Canadians. And um, I think people will be wanting to go there this winter because it's, you know, tropical, but not too far. So please go ahead, tell us all about it. Okay, thank you. I'm going to share my screen to show you. Um, wait. Here we are. I hope you, you can see all today, uh, all the presentation. Today we are going to see first some updates on the destination, uh, then Los Cabos areas, different areas, five hints to for set yourself apart in the Cabos, uh, where you can stay and some travel advisor resources that we have for you. Um, well, to start with uh, some updates on the destination, uh, Los Cabos opened for tourism last year, June 15. Uh, and a negative COVID test is not a requirement to enter to the destination, even to Mexico. Uh, but however, you need a negative test, a uh, COVID test, well, it is necessary to return to Canada. The hotels, restaurants, activities are open with a uh, strict uh, restrictions under capacity control and safety protocols. And every day, 7,000 of tourists leave the Los Cabos with a negative test, a COVID test. This is because all the travel partners in Los Cabos, we are working together to ensure the, our safety, the community, and of course, our travel, the travel safety um, of, of, of our visitors, sorry. Um, well, uh, you can, one of the requirements that the government of Canada uh, are asking for you, for Canadian, Canadian travelers, it's a PCR testing. So you can find those facilities uh, in our destination. Um, many hotels provide that type of test inside and another ones have different convenience from uh, with different labs. You can find this information in our website, visit loscabos.travel slash COVID-19 slash test slash Canada, and you will find all the information there. Uh, for arriving to Los Cabos, um, this is also, you can find these resources in our website, but it's very easy to get in. Uh, you really need to, to complete a, a vuelaseguro.com uh, information that is a risk, a, a risk questionnaire and the immigration form, and you are in. The same to, uh, to return to, to your country, you need this uh, co to complete this vuelaseguro.com. We are working 
all the partners together. So we have uh, some, we were working along these two years, some different certification to uh, ensure your safety uh, with Punto Olimpia, that is a national certification. We have a safe travelers of the WTTC. We have a verify uh, by Forbes that you can download the app and uh, check if Los Cabos is doing well. Then we have a crystal intertech uh, crystal that is um, international uh, a certification that always work with safety in travelers. Well, some competitive advantages that we have in Los Cabos is first the high quality of, uh, of service across all the destination. You can feel the scene, the scenes of space, you know, that we our hotels are small or medium, uh, the average of room are 200 room, 220. So are very small in general. Our large, largest uh, hotel have uh, 600 rooms and only we have two of them. Um, we have activities outdoors at the Sea of Cortez, at the desert, at the mountains. We have the luxury in our DNA. Uh, DNA. Uh, you can find some perfect, perfect combination between wellness and nature, uh, and we are uh, we are very close to our main market. So that's why I would like to show you these connectivity maps. As you can see, we work last year to recover some uh, routes that we have with Canada, with Air Canada, with Jet Sunwind Soup. Um, OWG and Flair Airlines that are start, that is going to start flying next February. In our website, we have an industry uh, a part for you uh, in tools. You can find this information. Well, this is a uh, Los Cabos area. As you know, we are in the south tip of Baja California Sur in Mexico. Here you can see in this map better. I'm going to show you here where is our logo. Uh, on one side, we have the Pacific Ocean and the other side, the Sea of Cortez. All the blue area is desert. So the weather is dry during the whole year. We have 350 sunny days. So you can organize any event outside and probably it's not going to rain. And uh, our winter, it's very soft. So um, I know you live in Canada, winter, it's hard, but here <laughs> winter is like summer. Um, so that's, it's a, an adventure that you can, um, you can see in Los Cabos. Well, we have five different areas. One is our core that is point B, C and D. Cabo San Lucas, that is a popular town, the tourist corridor, San Jose del Cabo. This is the core of Los Cabos. And then we have two new areas. One is point A, that is the Pacific area, and the point E, that is the East Cape. All this area is Los Cabos. We have only one international airport. I always mention this because some airlines or airports announce like, Cabo, eh, Cabo San Lucas, eh, Los Cabos San Lucas. Um, and it could be a little bit confused, but we have only one international airport that is San Jose del Cabo. And also, as you can see in this map, the distances are very close. So if your clients would like to stay in, Cabo, in a hotel of Cabo San Lucas, they can go one afternoon to have dinner to San Jose del Cabo because it's about 20 minutes. Well, the Pacific Ocean, the, the Pacific side, sorry, looks like this. Big or long beaches to walk. Um, here is the, the, the route that the whales choose to came down to Los Cabos. So during the winter, that is between December to April, you can see the humpback whale coming down and it's really amazing. Then we have some golf courses in this area and you are going to see great sunsets. Cabo San Lucas, that is a popular town. Here we have our uh, main marina. 
that is a point of departure of all the uh, water activities. We have our iconic arch. Um, then in the tourist corridor, that is the route that connect Cabo San Lucas with San Jose del Cabo. It's about 20 miles. Uh, here we concentrate most of the resorts and the golf courses. We have 18 golf courses, all designed by professional golf players like Tiger Woods, Greg Norman. Uh, here also you will find some beaches to go to do a snorkeling or uh, to swim. San Jose del Cabo is a traditional Mexican town. It really, it's, I love San Jose del Cabo. Uh, don't tell San Lucas, but it's my favorite. Um, San Jose del Cabo, it's beautiful to stroll around, to do window shopping. We have a little church. It's a town with more than 300 years of history. Uh, and also you will find some art galleries to stroll around. It's a beautiful area. Here in San Jose del Cabo, we have a little marina called Puerto Los Cabos. This marina is not very popular, but many of our visitors like this area to take sailing classes. And the East Cape, that is an unexplored area. Um, this area, as you can look at the color of the water, there is it's super special to do any kind of surfing. And also we have uh, the Cabo Pulmo, that is the National Marine Park, that is ideal to do scuba diving, snorkeling, um, and it's a, a great place. You look at that beach, I, it's really amazing area. Here in this area is where is located the Four Seasons Costa Palma. Well, um, you know that the, we have only one industry in Los Cabos that the, I think that the 90% of the population in Los Cabos work on tourism. So, of course, we have we need to take care about what we have in our destination. Also, we are super isolated. We are we are not an island, we, but we are a kind of island because the only way way to okay, to fly to Los Cabos or to come to Los Cabos is flying. So, uh, we have a really commitment with sustainability. The 42% of the territory in Baja California Sur is natural protected area. We have a special uh, protection for the flora and fauna in the Cabo San Lucas Bay and the state of San Jose. We have a well watch, well sanctuarius protection. We have a special protection also for the sea lions colony that we have two big sea lions colony. One is in Cabo San Lucas and another one in Cabo Pulmo. The marine turtle protection, you know that every summer the, uh, the turtles came to our uh, beaches to uh, build their nests. So then you can do a turtle release and really it's amazing. Then we have the Biosfera de la, la Laguna Reserve, Cabo Pulmo National Park. And we have a special inspection for the illegal fishing. Uh, so that's why we have many protecting, protective areas in at the sea, like Cabo Pulmo and Cabo San Lucas Bay. Some people think that is not, uh, that Los Cabos is not a swimmable area, but uh, this is just an example. Um, we, in Mexico, there are, 57 blue flag certification beaches. This blue flag certification, it's an eco level, that uh, international eco level for marinas and for beaches. And we have 22 of these blue flag beaches. This means, uh, or the certification is for the environmental management, the safety and accessibility, the uh, environmental education and the water of quality. And of course, because you are secure for swim. So uh, as you can see in this map, we have some in Cabo San Lucas, other ones in the tourist corridor, San Jose del Cabo, and also here at the top of the escape. Well, some hints, five hints for set yourself apart in Los Cabos. First, set, set yourself apart at the Sea of Cortez. Uh, the 30% of the marine mammals that are in the world are at the Sea of Cortez. So 
if you have the opportunity to visit Los Cabos, do a snorkeling, scuba diving, kayaking, paddleboard, uh, you will see these creatures that, and it's really amazing because there's not small fishes are big fishes or little fishes of colorful fishes are big, big fishes. Uh, also, you can find, uh, of course, whales, uh, sharks, rays, turtles, dolphins, and swim with them in a natural environment. But if you are not looking for, you need more something more tranquil, you can set yourself apart at the Sea of Cortez, but to navigate the sea. You can do a sunset sailing and yoga eh, or meditation in front of the arch, a full day sailing or sport fishing. That if you don't know how to do a sport fishing because you are not a professional, it's not necessary. Eh, you can have someone with you, a fisherman with you on board that can help you with that. And why not have with you a chef that cook uh, the tuna that catch five minutes before. Other way to set yourself apart in Los Cabos is at the desert. Uh, remember that I told you that we have the desert. Uh, so that's why the weather is very dry. So you can find different activities. You can do hiking at the Sierra de la Laguna, uh, bicycle, racers, four by four vehicles. So we have many um, activities to set yourself apart on the desert. Why not golfing? We have 18 golf courses, as I mentioned before, but uh, these all golf courses have amazing blue uh, views to the sea and the desert. And we have some different tournaments during the year. Um, why not meet the locals? We have San Jose del Cabo, that is the art district. So there we have some art galleries. And every Thursday we have the art walk that all the art galleries show the work of the local artists in the street. So you can chat with the artists, hear the live music. And after that, stay in one of the restaurants of uh, of San Jose to try the gastronomy because if you are if you visit Los Cabos and you visit Mexico remember that the gastronomy it's going to be a must we have the Mexican cuisine the farm to table experience that um, you know that uh, here in Los Cabos I told you that it's desert but there are some areas that we have um, organic farms because there are some esteros with big deposit of sweet water that this farm can be support of that. So you can have the experience of the farm to table um, dining, for example, and the world-class cozy restaurants inside the hotels and outside the hotels. I don't know what happened with the chef, but they are so creative that they are, they do, they are doing things, amazing things in the dishes, in the kitchen. And we have the district, this is new. It's a district 23400. It's um, San Jose del Cabo. It's becoming a gastronomy district. So you can find different uh, little events when you visit Los Cabos to, um, to, to taste the gastronomy of this area and Los Cabos, like Tahiti Tuesday, that uh, we have 22 restaurants that are part of this program. So they have a set menu with the signature dishes and in the Tasty Tuesday, you can try them. Okay, where to stay? You know that we have uh, the offer that we have, you can find luxury hotels, European plan, all inclusive, just for adults, for families or boutique hotels. And why not? Uh, you can find some uh, villas for your clients that we have all around the destination. This is the map where the hotels are located. As you can see, they are some in Cabo San Lucas in the tourist corridor, San Jose del Cabo. So I think that the best way to choose a hotel in Los Cabos is depends of the um, of your clients. So 
you have a big offer to your clients. Um, then we also work, we have an amazing marketing team, really, honestly. So we have a great resources for you. I would like to invite you to become a Los Cabos specialist in loscabosespecialist.com and uh, of course, learn more about the Los Cabos and have access to our loyalty program that uh, mostly of the hotels are participating and you can have uh, some a special gift for your clients or for example, an update with your with a reservation depends of the the hotel uh, i would like to show you this um uh, another resources that is a specialty guys you can find the travel advisor guide that for me it's my favorite because you are going to find all the information for you to to sell better los cabos also you can find the luxury guide the golf a guide, the wellness guide, the wedding guide, if you are planning, a, you are a wedding planner or a meeting planner guide, if you are a meeting planner. So you can find here this information. I would like to show you this little video about a, our campaign that's called a Set Yourself Apart in Los Cabos. It's a little video, but it's going to show you a, a little bit more uh, about our destination. I really love that video because show the essential of Los Cabos. Um, well, uh, here we have some different ways to connect, stay connect with us. First, in our website, in visitloscabos.travel. We have um, a special part for the industry. So if you click an industry, you can have all the information for you. Then, uh, I would like to, this is new. We have a new app in Los, in Los Cabos. Uh, so uh, if you scan this QR code, you can download the app uh, that is part of the, uh, our website ecosystem. So if you have some clients that are coming to Los Cabos, if you, they are going to have their all information about what to do in Los Cabos. Um, I would like to invite you to subscribe to our newsletter. We have a special uh, trade newsletter uh, and follow us in social media. And if you have any special question, let me know. My uh, email is there, jortiz at visitloscabos.travel. And probably you were, <laughs> you were waiting for Rodrigo Esponda, that is the managing director, uh, that many, probably many of you know, because he, um, he also always, he loves Canada. So there is his email, responda at visitloscabos.travel. Thank you. Great, thank you so much. That was um, very informative and very inspiring. I think we all want to come visit you right about now. Um, there's certainly snow here in Toronto right now. Okay, agents, um, can I just remind you if you have any questions to put them in the Q&A box and I'm gonna go through them right now. Okay, the first question is, um, 
So someone would like the map that you showed on your slide. So we'll circulate that afterwards. Um, okay, there was a question from Rose Marie. She would like to know, what's the easiest method of payment in Los Cabos? Is it to get Mexican pesos? Is it to use credit cards or is it US dollars? Um, really, you can use any any type. You can use both of uh, the three of them. Uh, U.S. dollar it's allowed everywhere. Also, the credit card. So, really depends on you. If you don't want, if you don't want to change uh, to pesos uh, mexicanos, you can pay in dollars. And also, sometimes in different places they accept uh, Canadians. Not in all places, but the US dollar everywhere. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So they make it easy for you. And there's like a few different payment options. That's good to know. OK, the next question is, if someone wants to rent a car, where else can they go on like a day trip, road trip kind of adventure? OK, first, it's a very good option because uh, I would like to show like the first map um, that the different road, it's, we have only two routes. So it's very easy to move and it's very secure. Um, depends where you stay, but if you stay in Cabo San Lucas, definitely you have to go to San Jose del Cabo to, to visit the, the area, it's beautiful. Uh, you can go, here we are. You can go to Todos Santos, that is about 45 minutes from Cabo San Lucas. It's only this one road. And this highway, it's spectacular because you can see all the Pacific Ocean and it's and the mountains on the other side. It's really beautiful. Um, so that could be a good, another option. And if you continue to La Paz, from Todos Santos to La Paz, it's about 45 minutes. So you can go there. It's a um, it's a capital of the Baja California Sur. Um, it's a little. It's not a big city. It's a super little uh, city, and you can turn all uh, around and appear here in the East Cape. So that could and return to Cabo San Lucas. So you can do like a, ro a road trip. Another thing, another recommendation is to. But here you need a, a ship or a four by four vehicle if you are going to rent a car. Go to the East Cape. All this route around the East Cape to Cabo Pulmo, it's um, it's like in, in dunes and it's not it's not for any kind of car. So, but the you can see the Sea of Cortez and also the desert. So, could be a good idea. Um, why not stop in one of the beach, take your surf, uh, your surfing board and stay there uh, to do surfing in one of the beaches. <laughs> that sounds fun. OK, um, can you just remind us how Canadians get PCR tests before they have to come back and like approximately how much do these cost? Okay, there are some airlines that have a, a, a special rate with some lab uh, that with that uh, you will find $100 of, uh, for a PCR. So that is the average. Uh, the hotels, you know that the PCR is different because have the, you can, the, the hotel can have the results immediately. So, uh, it's very common to you, that the concierge call the lab to take the test inside the hotel. So go to um, take the sample to the hotel and they take the, that sample to the lab to have the results. So you can go to the labs or ask in the hotel uh, that helping you to have them uh, the sample at the hotel. And in, uh, can I show you the website? Yeah, yeah, please and, do. 
I would like to show you this because I think that it's very easy to, to use. And for example, this is our visit Los Cabos of travel. If you go to copy it here, you go here, learn more, and you can get in Canada. And then um, you can have here all the information. And also we have a list of uh, the labs that are um, with the prices. Wait, here. Do you know in particular if Crystal Grand provides um, PCR tests on site? No, the hotels only. The only way is to have a um, a, com a convenient with a, with the lab, yeah. and the lab goes to the hotel because it's another kind of of the that they process the sample. That's why the antigen test is easy because everybody can do it at home, for example. But here you can see uh, the labs and the prices in the website. It's very easy. WestJet and Air Canada have both of them a special um, program with one of the labs. Yeah, Angela, I was going to suggest that you look at Air Canada and WestJet as well, because they just announced their own solutions for this return testing. So um, you can check it out on Travel Week. We have the stories there. Um, Megan, maybe you can put those stories in the chat for everyone. Okay, um, Sophia was going to ask about Tulum, but I'm going to tell her that Tulum is on the other side of Mexico. Um, so we won't be talking about Tulum today. And another agent is asking, is it possible to stay in Airbnbs in the area or are there strict rules and it, is it hotels only? No, you can choose, a, a, there are many Airbnbs where you, you can choose and really are amazing houses and departments with beautiful views. So in, in the website of Airbnb, you can find great places to stay. And what's the best time of year to go to Los Cabos? Well, I think that... Uh, could be the whole year. Right now, the I am like this. I am. I live in Los Cabos, uh, and the weather outside it's really amazing. So, uh, the weather it's it's good the whole year. So depends on what you are looking for. For example, the whale season it's coming December to April. So if you would like to see some whales. Uh, if you are in the terrace of the hotel and you are you would like to see the whales in do a special show for you, that uh, that uh, season it's a perfect one. That is uh, right now is going to start. I saw uh, a whale last weekend, so are coming. Um, but depends really depends on on you. In summer it's a little bit hot. Um, we are talking about 40 degrees. And right now we are in 25 degrees. That could be the average during the whole year. I didn't say- So you don't have the right? season like we do. <laughs> I, I don't choose a season, <laughs> sorry. But I think they, it depends on, uh, right now, it depends on the time of anyone because the Los Cabos is a good place to come any part of the year. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. You can go to Mexico any time of year and it's going to be nice. It's not like you have a monsoon season or a really rainy season or anything. Yes, and Los Cabos. Okay, maybe. Sorry, sorry in Los Cabos, go I ahead, mentioned that this desert. So the weather, we, we, don't, we have few rains. We can, we can uh, for example, in other parts of the Caribbean, show uh, rains every day, and here never rains. So that's good. 
<laughs> is that a guarantee from the tourist board that it never rains? Never. We had 350 sunny days. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, agents, if you have any more questions, we're just about to wrap up. Do you mind just going through all the COVID protocols once more? I know you don't need any kind of testing to get into the destination. Is there anything else they should keep in mind besides the PCR test on return to Canada? Um, no, the only thing... Uh... I, I know that right now the government of of Canada, uh, you need to return this PCR, PCR, but to come to Los Cabos, you don't need anything, ni quarantine, ni testing. So only your passport. And uh, that's why we create this, um, this product, arrival and departure protocols that are the three steps that you need to come to Los Cabos. First, fill the Huela Seguro, that is a um, questionnaire about where you were uh, last 15 days. Then the other one is the enter form, that is a migration form. And the other one is the custom form, the uh, custom declaration. So you don't need anything to come here to Los Cabos. Um, and to return, the only thing that you need the PCR. But uh, it's uh, the only thing that you need. Okay, thanks for recapping that. Do you have any final words for travel agents? Um, any final tips? Any last words of in inspiration about Los Cabos? Uh, first, when, if you, for example, in our website, we have all the, all the information that uh, we are updating every day. Uh, for us, a uh, Canadian market, it's very important. So we have a special uh, website for you and the things that are happening, the, the, the requirements that your country are asking for. So there we always update that information. If you have any question, you can get in there and uh, have that information. Also, please send me an email if it's necessary. I'm going to put in the chat if if you don't mind, wait, visit loscabos.travel. Uh, and I'm here. So if you would like to visit Los Cabos, if you need help for some site, site inspections, if you have some special clients that are coming and you need a special uh, hotel or any help, let me know. Uh, Los Cabos is open for you. So anytime you are, uh, you would like to come here, uh, we are prepared to receive you and uh, we have a right now a beautiful day so we are happy to having you here soon excellent thank you so much for the informative webinar thanks for inspiring us today on this gray day up here um and um if any of the agents have any questions they will reach out to you and they will watch Travel Week for any uh, upcoming news about Los Cabos. Thank you so much for being here, Juana. Thank you to you. Have a lovely day. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.